السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد Today, inshallah, we take the third way of the verbs belonging to chapter 1. And this is when the verb is mudaf and at the same time mutaaddin. So, we took already what tadaif means. And we said that at tadaif is when. The ayn and the lam are identical. And this is in the thulathi. In the thulathi. So in the three letter verb, al mudaaf is when the ayn and the lam are identical. Wadih? Clear? Tayyib? Okay, now let's take examples to that. Now, when it is mudaaf, and also lazim, it belongs to chapter one. Okay, so this is the third way. When it is mudaaf and mutaaddin, it belongs to chapter one. Wa dh? Yani when it is mudaaf and transitive. When it is mudaaf and transitive. Okay. Now, let's take the concept of the mudaaf and how it works. Now, for example, here, for example, we have radda. Radada. Okay? Yani now, if we want to bring the verbs on the scale of fa'ala and yaf'alu, it is ya radada yardudu. Radada yardudu. Radada yardudu dudu Wadih Ra Da Da Yardudu Radada Yardudu Okay Now here what happened of course it is not said Radada neither is it said Yardudu Rather it is said Radda Yardudu But what happened here? Here Dada 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 are two identical letters in a row with a haraka. And that causes some heaviness in speech. And the grand principle says, seeking, mm, seeking what in speech? Seeking heaviness, right? Mm, seeking lightness in speech. Well, there. So, we want to get rid of this heaviness in speech. And the way to do that, okay, is that we want to get our way around to merge the, the first dal into the second. Yeah, and you merge the first identical letter into the second. And the only way we're going to do that is that we're going to drop the fatha on the first dal. So we can say that the only time we can merge the first letter into the second is that if the uh, hold on one moment please
Then, so the only time we can merge the first letter into the second is that if the first was second and the following was not. Okay? And here, as we can see, here, this cannot be done, okay, unless the first uh, became silent. Okay? So, what are we going to do in this case? So, we are going to silence the first in order to merge it into the second. Understood, Barakallahu Fikum? Is this, is this understood? So here, what is the first silent letter here in, uh, sorry, what is the first identical letter here in Radada? Radada. Radada. The first Dal. Okay? So the first Dal, we're just going to make it silent. That means take the Fatha away. Okay? So this will be so. Now, can you read this? Yani after the Fatha was taken away. Now here, Instead of radada, now you're saying radda, 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 okay, radda. So the difficulty is gone now. The difficulty is gone. Why? Because there are no longer two moving identical letters in a row. Radda, 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 nice and light. Wade. So now. Radda, radda, radda. Okay? It's as if you're pronouncing one dal, but you're stressing on it. Okay? So they have, yani whenever this occurs, whenever emerging occurs, what do they do? They uh, merge the two letters together. Yani, okay? Writing one of the identical letters and they put this sign which is called a shadda this little w you see over the letter this is called a shadda and a shadda represents two identical letters the first one is silent and the second one has a haraka the first one is silent and the second one has a haraka now Whichever that haraka is, you're going to place it over the shadda, over that little w, so that it looks like this. Wade? So, radda, 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 and so on. Wade? So, you have radda, and adda, and madda, and sabba, and shadda, wade, and qadda. Etc. Wadeh? Tayyip. Now let's go to the mudari. The mudari is the same idea as well. Same idea. Because you say yardudu, but there's a slight difference here. Yardudu. Yardudu. Dudu. Dudu. Yardudu. Now yardudu, there's a heaviness caused by two identical letters in a row, both having a haraka, dudu. So now we want to get rid of the first dhamma. Why? Because of what we mentioned below. Because we want to get the first one sakin in order to be able to be merged. In order for us to be able to merge it into the the following. Okay. But here we can, you know, do it the any. Uh, peacefully, yeah, any without, yeah, any without fighting, we can do it nice and easy. And this is by what? By simply moving the dhamma on the first dal to the preceding letter, just as we did with yaqwulu and yad'u, no, just as we did with yaqwulu. What did we do with yaqwulu? We simply moved the dhamma from the waw to the qaf. 
ending up with yaqulu. Okay? Now here we're going to do the same. And we're going to move the dhamma from the ayn to the fa. So instead of saying yar do do, we're going to say yaru yaru yarud do. Yani, we moved the dhamma from the first dal to the preceding letter, which is what? Which is the ra. So that we say yarud do yarud do yarud do like so. Now yarud do here. Now we have what we wanted. What is what we wanted is that the first letter, the first identical letter is sakin, and the, so the, the letter following it is mutaharrik. Okay, so we go ahead and merge the first into the second, and we place that shadda that we told you about, and over it is a dhamma. Why over the shadda is a dhamma this time? Because the second identical letter has a dhamma. And whichever haraka the second identical letter has, you just place it on the shadda after you merge. Comprende? Wadih? Mafhoom? Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen. Naam, al Radda, yaruddu, you're going to do the same to every verb that is the same. Yani every mudaaf. But with the condition that it is what? Muta'addin Ahsantu Wadih With the condition that it is Muta'addin So let's go ahead Insha'Allah And give you the verbs Okay Or Yani It's correct to say And revise the verbs well, Probably might even give you more verbs Okay So let's go ahead and Give you the verbs then Uh Radda means rejected. Radda means rejected. He rejected, yes. Uh, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, as in the hadith narrated by Ummuna Aisha, radiyallahu ta'ala anha, that uh, yes, he said, يعني, he said, مَنْ عَمِلَ عَمَلًا لَيْسَ عَلَيْهِ أَمْرُنَا فَهُوَ رَدٌ رَدٌ He said, مَنْ عَمِلَ an amila afwan amalan laysa alayhi amuna fahuwa fahuwa what raddun fahuwa rad fahuwa raddun fahuwa raddun 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 is the verbal noun of Radda Yaruddu. It is the verbal noun of Radda Yaruddu. Okay? So Raddun is a rejection. Okay? But what is meant here is not the verbal noun. What is meant here is using the verbal noun to express the maf'ul, yani the thing which to which the act was done. To which the act was done. Okay? Yani rad here takes the meaning of mardud. Mardud. Yani rejected. Well there? Yani something which is rejected. Something which the rejection happened to. And this is, uh, yani, this is uh, in the Quran. What is in the Quran? Yani using the verbal noun to express the receiver as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in surah al-ra'd uh, in surah al-luqman afwan hadha khalqullah hadha khalqullah this is the yani this is what Allah created so he used khalq which is originally used to express a verbal noun for the meaning of the created so this is the creation of Allah not the creating of Allah. Yani this is what Allah has created. So show me what the ones, yani what other than Him has created. Wadah barakallahu feekum. See? Man yani man al an yani subhanallah. The one who does not know these principles. The one who does not know that the verbal noun sometimes is used to express its original meaning and sometimes it's used to express the doer and sometimes it's used to express the receiver. How will he yani uh, 
preserve himself from falling into mistakes into understanding the Quran. So let's go ahead, inshallah, and give you those verbs, shall we? So we say sabda. Sabba. Sabba. Sabba means he scolded. He scolded. Or he cursed. Wadi. Sabba. 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 Sabba ya subbu. Sabba ya subbu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wala tasubbu ladina. يَدْعُونَ مِن دُونِ اللَّهِ فَيَسُبُّ اللَّهَ عَدْوًا بِغَيْرِ عِلْمٍ So Sabba Yasubbu So Sabba means what? Sabba means He scolded or he cursed Or he insulted Of course Sabba is insulting verbally طيب Then we have This is with the scene Then we have Sabb يعني with the Sad and sabba means poured, poured. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, ثُمَّ صُبُّوا فَوْقَ رَأْسِهِ مِنْ عَذَابِ الْحَمِينَ And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, أَنَّا صَبَبْنَا الْمَاءَ صَبَّا صَبَبْنَا الْمَاءَ صَبَّا صَبَّا So صَبَّا يَصُبُّوا صَبَّا is he poured. واضح صب يصب ثم صب فوق رأسي من عذاب الحمي ذق إنك أنت العزيز الكريم طيب then we have Then we have Betha 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 Wa alaykum as Betha means spread out He spread As in the news for example We say Betha al-Khabara That means he spread the news So Betha means he spread He spread Betha Betha Okay Betha بث الخبر يبثه. Then we have حث. These, as you can see, are all متعدين. They are all transitive. حث حث means urge. حث حث means urged. He urged. حث. الحمد لله. Nice to know that you are here as well. حث. حثه يحثه. Then we have حج. حج means حج. حج means he. He did حج. Yes, he performed حج. واضح. حج. حج يحج. حج يحج. فَمَنْ حَجَّ الْبَيْتَ أَوْ اِعْتَمَرَ فَلَا جُنَاحَ عَلَيْهِ أَنْ يَطَّوَّفَ بِهِمَا فَمَنْ حَجَّ الْبَيْتَ أَوْ اِعْتَمَرَ مَنْ حَجَّ Whoever did حج واضح مَنْ حَجَّ واضح مَنْ حَجَّ نعم حج يا حج حج يا حج حج يا يا حج اوكي Then we gave you Radda, which means rejected. Radda yarundu. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَرَدَّ اللَّهُ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا بِغَيْضِهِمْ لَمْ يَنَالُوا خَيْرًا Radda, 
يردو واضح الله سبحانه وتعالى سل ولو ردوا لعادوا لما نهوا عنه واضح ويترند نعم نعم يس could be returned also so radda rejected and also returned واضح uh, radda طيب انا نعم also radda عد يعد تعد نعد أعد قال الله سبحانه وتعالى وإن تعدوا نعمة الله لا تحصوها إن تعدوا نعمة الله لا تحصوها If you count the blessings of Allah you will not be able to count it وإن تعدوا نعمة الله لا تحصوها عد يعد عد يعد then مد Madda, 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 madda means stretched, stretched out, madda, so madda who, yani stretched it, he stretched it, madda, wa ghih, afara'ayta alladhi kafara bi ayatina wa qala lahu tayanna ma lahu wa walada, اطلع الغيب أم اتخذ عند الرحمن عهدا كلا سنكتب ما يقول ونمد له من العذاب مدا نمد له نمد يمد أمد تمد نمد مد يمد نمد له من العذاب مدا 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 is the verb noun واضح نعم طيب مد نعم Also, we have hadda. Hadda, hadda means broke it down severely. He broke down severely. He broke down severely. Hadda, hadda yahuddu, haddan, hadda, hadda. No, no, as in broke a building down. Something built. Then we have Sarva. Sa. Sarva. 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 Sarva means it pleased or he pleased. It pleased or he pleased. Okay, then we have Barra. Barra means he harmed. قال الله سبحانه وتعالى Barra يضر قل أندعو من دون الله ما لا ينفعنا ولا يضرنا يضر 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 So Barra he harmed. Say, are we going to invoke Besides Allah, that which benefits us not, 
neither harms us. Huh? So darra yadurru. Darra is what? Is he harmed? Hmm? No. But that is darrihim dariru. This is ismul fa'al, yani the doer. The form which means the doer. That's not the verb there. <coughs> so darra yadurru. Wadih. Darra yadurru. Okay, then we have azza. 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 It says azza, yani he moved. He moved as in moved something. He moved. Azza, yani he moved. Qala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Alam tara anna arusalna shayateena ala al-kafirina ta'uzzuhum azza. Ta'uzzuhum azza. Ta'uzzuhum azza. So azza ya'uzzu, yani الشياطين تأزهم يعني إذا الشياطين move them move them control them نعم أزا يأز واضح أزا يأز أزا يا يأز نعم meaning of أزا is he moved واضح مضارع الأزا يأز ضر he harmed سر he pleased واضح okay then we have دسا 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 he hid دسا he hid Hid from hiding, he hid it. Ayumsikuhu ala hoonin am yadusuhu fit to rob. Am yadusuhu fit to rob. Am yadusuhu, that's a yadusu, am yadusuhu fit to rob. Where either Bushira a haduhu bil unta vola wajuhu muswadu wahua kavin. Yet a wara min al kaumi min su ima Bushira bi. Yani, if someone was giving glad tidings of a female child, huh? Vola wajuhu muswadu wahua kavin. It tries to avoid and hide from the people because of what he was given glad tidings of. Ayumsikuhu alahun? Am yadusuhu? Am yadusuhu? Or should he hide it? Yani yadusuhu fi turab, yani hide it in the dirt. Wal ayyadu billah. Am yadusuhu fi turab. Then we have Russia. 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 Russia is he sprinkled. He sprinkled. Are there? Russia is sprinkled. See, so sprinkle water on someone, says Russia Stuka. رش الماء واضح رش يرش then we have غش غا غش غش قال صلى الله عليه وسلم من غشنا فليس منا whoever cheated us is not of us من غشنا فليس منا and this is in general not just in dealings. Man uh, Rashana, whoever cheated us in anything, is not of us. 
and is not of us, indicating that it is one of the major sins. Because the major sin is whichever sin was followed by the mention of a curse, yes, of course, or a yes, a curse, or a penalty, prescribed penalty, or a, a disclaimer of the person. Well, the no. Any disowning of the person, then this means that it is a major sin. So, Russian, no, Russian, Russian, Russian. Okay. Hmm. Ya Rushu. Because it's Ya Rushu, right? It was originally Ya Rushu. So we move the Dhamma to the Rain, it became Ya Rushu. Okay. Also, Mesha. Mesha. Mesha means he wiped his hands. Or he wiped. You can say Mesha Yadahu. Yani he wiped his hands okay so when you wipe your hand to dry them to dry them or to remove uh, grease that might be any on them okay we say mesha yadahu mesha so mesha yamushu huh? don't say yamashu neither say yamishu huh because this is chapter one so yamshushu then it became yamushu yeah yamushu now yamushu واضح؟ then we have خا خا خاصة 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 is he specified؟ خاصة is he specified؟ 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 خاصة واضح؟ خاصة خاصة يخص طيب then we have قصة قصة and قصة has two meanings either followed by following the trace قصة أثره like in the saying of Allah سبحانه وتعالى in سورة القصص وقالت لأخته قصي 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 فبصرت به عن جنوب وهم لا يشعرون فقالت لأخته قصي يعني follow his trace واضح this is قصة this is the first meaning the second meaning also to tell or inform قصة قال الله سبحانه وتعالى فلما جاء هو قص عليه القصص قال لا تخف لما جاء when he came to him and told him the story قال لا تخف don't be afraid you have survived or you are saved from the يعني oppressing people قصة so قصة has two meanings I gave you an example for both I mean I gave you an example for both واضح طيب We also have Bata And no this is not duck We have Bata 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 means bursted Wa alaykum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh It means bursted As in bursted something Okay So if you You know Popped as it You can say it Bata. Okay. Bata. So bursting. Popping. Popping or bursting. 
واضح؟ بطا بطاه يبطه بطا يبطه اوكي بطا از يوزد يعني يوزد فور وولد اور اور يعني يس هاو تو رايت ان انجلش بيرستد وذ تي اور بابت اوكي Okay. Then we have da da, and da means he pushed strongly. He strongly pushed, just like the saying of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, "Ah, يوم يدعون إلى نار جهنم دعا." يعني they will be. Pushed strongly into the hellfire. Well, I yada billah. Let's Allah Allah na afi wa sallam. And Allah Subhanahu wa Taala said, "فذلك الذي يدعو اليتيم." واضح. Allah al Musta'an. There we go. That is da'a. And then we have kaffa. كف no دع as to push not to to repel كف means oh you mean كف كف يكف no not sufficed كف means to prevent It has many meanings. That kaffa means to present, to prevent, pardon me. Okay, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, uh, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, حين لا حين لا يكفون عن وجوههم النار ولا هم ينصرون حين لا يكفون هل هل نعم لو يعلم الذين كفروا نعم لو يعلم الذين كفروا حين لا يكفون عن وجوههم النار when they cannot يعني they cannot yes لا يكفون عن وجوههم النار They cannot prevent the fire from touching their faces or from their faces. When he had been there, Rasulullah, and you said, "Lima la wa iyaqum." Okay. Then also we have laffa. Laffa. Laffa means to wrap. When you wrap around, huh? You say لفة لفة يلف لفة يلف لفة يلف Okay. You have also دقة دقة and دقة means And it has many meanings. It means he pounded, dakka. It means it could mean he knocked as well. So he knocked or he pounded. Also, we have aqa, and aqa means he mistreated, pounded. Now. عقا he mistreated. Also we have حكا he itched, scratched. Pardon me. He scratched. He scratched or he itched also. حكا حكا يحك حكا يا حك
Okay. We have also fakka. Fakka means to dismantle. Dismantle. He dismantled or he opened. He opened. Okay. Or, or he broke open. No. Hmm. Cafe prevented. Fakka. Okay. Then we have Bella. Bella, he wetted. He wetted. He wetted. He wetted. Okay. Then we have Della. Della he guided. Della means he guided. Leffa means he wrapped around. He wrapped. He wrapped. Della he guided. He guided. What? Well, And we have Amma. Amma means. Yes, it's okay. Amma means he. Yani. Amma means he headed towards. And it could also mean he led. Okay? So Amma could mean. He headed towards some some somewhere or something. He headed towards something. No, not Amma. That is Amma. This is Amma. Okay, and it also means he led. And of it is the saying of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, "Ya ummu al-qawma akra'uhum." Yani, the one who leads the prayer is the one who. Memorize the most of the Quran. Amma ya ummu. Wadah amma ya ummu. Also, we have thamma, and thamma means uh, dispraised and criticized. Criticized. Also, we have bamma, bamma, and bamma means he joined together. Bamma. Ba, ba, bamma. What? And we also have amma. And no, this is not amma. The amma yatasa'alun. No, this is amma the verb. Amma means he. Yani he he included or he covered covered mean as in he generalized in me okay and or he encompassed he encompassed Della he guided. He guided. Okay. Last two is Senna. Senna. And Senna means he he ordained or he followed a certain way or he he, he instituted a way. Okay. And then we have Vanna, which is he presumed or he thought. A way, a way. He instituted a way. Now, vanna he presumed. Vanna he presumed, or he thought. That is enough for today, inshallah. Okay. 
ان شاء الله دقه دقه يعني هي باوندد او هي نوكت tomorrow ان شاء الله we take level 2 i mean sorry we take uh, <laughs> chapter 2 wish it was that easy huh? we take chapter 2 and it's four ways ان شاء الله نعم ان شاء الله باذن الله اذا الله سبحانه وتعالى keeps us alive وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين